Hello, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. The last time was the bloody combat justice. Yeah, so today we'll try the hanged man. No, we'll just we fail so we'll fail <laughs> in every possible encounter we have oh, in every challenge. But to be honest, the last time I played this game was about mm, two months ago, so don't quite remember what happened last time. Darkness haunts us everywhere, does it not? Creeping slowly into the choices we make. Even the friends you hold near and dear are touched by their compromises. The northern tribes have gathered and are preparing to invade the empire, Malachites exclaimed as they burst into the tavern. Live immediately in one empire. Okay, let's discuss. The main force of the Imperial Army is widely known to be away in the southeast, seeking to bring new countries under the heel of the Empire. There are dozens of small villages all through this region. They are protected by Empire force that sit on the on all the near trade routes, but those who won't be able to hold out for long without reinforcements. We have to assume that the Empire would respond in time. Hundreds of innocent people are in great danger. The Empire is run by a corrupt, bloodthirsty lunatic, Malaclips declares. But his people don't deserve this fight. We have to warn them. Okay. I know of several local villagers, but there are many more that I have never visited. Okay. Life goes on in these small towns until it ceases. You see a peaceful village of the main trail. Okay, let's visit. The town is quiet as you walk the paths, with mothers hushing their children and dragging them inside. A pair of watchful farmers stop talking as you approach and give brave greeting. We don't have many strangers visit our village, one of the pair says plainly, but you may speak with our elder if you wish. You are led to a small hut on the outskirts of the village. Inside, a disheveled old man with a single wild eye sits cross-legged on the floor, humming a strange tone to himself. Explain that the Northerners are approaching here. Yeah? The mystic peers at you with single wild eye as you tell of the terror about to overrun them. The gods will show us their will. The old man yells, leaping up and pointing at the bird in a nearby tri tree. If the raven flies north or south, then the village should flee, east or west, and we must remain. With a wild cry, the old man throws a stone at the bird. Okay, that's not impossible. Games within it games is for me. Okay, we need eight. Yes. Well done. You continue to impress. Thank you. The raven flies south. It is time to leave, the mistake declares. The gods have spoken. Good. Taking Aren't orders from a goblin. Yeah. You're lucky I came along, given you're the type to do whatever anyone asks of you. What kind of weapon do I have equipped? No, I don't want those. <laughs> Give me the axe. The tower is in chaos. Alarm bells have the garrison soldiers in a panic. As you watch, a goblin with a hefty sack leaps from a window, dangling from a makeshift rope. He bounces painfully over the wall as he lowers himself to the ground. The castle doors fly open. Guards assemble, armed and angered. The goblin blows his horn, discharging with more than a feeble hiss. I need a moment to recharge this. Help me and I'll split my tankings. Before you can reply, he throws you an item from the sack. Here's your retainer, he says. Thank you. The guards rush forward. Arise them, they're with the goblin. Hmm. Well, now I am with the goblin, yeah. He paid me. Up front. Leave him. Oh no 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 you 
leave him alone. Oh my goodness. Now, get up. Oh, the goblin's gonna die, the goblin's gonna die. Nope, Oh, he's dead. No, he's not dead. He's dead. Well, those guys are tough. How oh, is death? Oh. <laughs> I wonder whether his death matters. With the goblin gone, you make your own escape. Okay, he didn't escape, he was dead! I feel cheated. Ooh, can buy something. Mm, gambler's jewel. What's with that? Yeah. Let's take that. This piece has passed through more than a few hands. Every mm, gambler can loses I sell eventually, anything? even when the deck is stacked in their favor. Yeah, sure, I'll sell this. Uh, let's see. What can get the Zerger Creed? Green six fame. What's with this? I take 50 hits in combo. Yeah, I'll take, well, I'll take that this. May help you on the road ahead. Yeah, it may. Ooh. Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. Walking through a shady forest to encounter a frail old maiden. For centuries, I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? Supplies. This should sustain you for a few days. <laughs> yeah, we need potion of youth. I don't remember whether we unlocked it. I think we did. I'm not sure though. Is it the village? There is a festival being held in the village. The morale of the people is high as they sing and dance and compete in games of skill. Let's compete in the axe throwing. <laughs> we are handed a small axe and directed to throw it at a wooden circle target. Oh my, oh. Okay, and it moves. The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing <laughs> hope <laughs> or failure. Hit the target dead center. The crowd cheers, and a young lady with flowers in her hair presents you with your prize. As you travel, <sighs> you will find a fame and infamy follow you. Not yet, however. Okay, now, can you give me that? Show Wait. your worth through action. Uh, oh, this one was left with starvation. No, no, we don't need it yet. Okay, let's warn them. The townsfolk are skeptical of your claims. You weren't so worried about the barbarians when you got here. Not an old man in the crowd. Okay, tell the tales. You pick a shady spot and attempt to gain the attention of the crowd. Oh my god. Okay. This one? Yes! The crowd is held captive by your every word and when you finally reach your dramatic conclusion, one of the young women faints. The rest of the crowd cheers as you depart with several of the children claiming that they would become an adventurer like you when they grow up. Well. Okay, will you... Really? Now you will clash okay, and see them. who survives. It doesn't seem too bad. I'll fight them and I'll try. We shouldn't have taken part in the festivities. Uh, got a reward. I'll have you know my friend here is killed far better than you. Do it, thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, I think Northern Arms are easiest to fight with. Whoa. Yeah. After I said that, he does that. Wait, I. Oh no, 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 I defended that. Nope. Oh my god. Just die. Thank you. Tapi kita hidup. Well, at least we got up to forty damage, <coughs> and we need to sustain fifty hits. The berserker speed fail. Then he happens with the nearby village rush out cheering. The farmers and their families thank you for protecting the village. Beth to the northern barbarians! A little girl screams as she kicks one of the fallen. Thank you. Thank you. The people disperse to gather what they can before abandoning the village. You make your way out of the northern hills and onto the majestic plains. You travel along into the night and set out again with the dawn to keep ahead of the approaching army. In my youth, I used to climb. There is little better than the wind in your hair and the thought of death. Hmm. Of course! Supper <laughs> rope snap dropping into the river below. Okay. You wash up on the bank somewhere down the river. Your fall may have been bad, but perhaps the broken bridge will hinder the northern horde too. Okay, but there's. Uh, it didn't hinder them so far. I should have gone to the right side. No, return. Yeah, definitely need to go to the last card, the right first. Give me that. We have the gum gumbers jewel. No, we'll reroll re those two. Really? <laughs> the bad luck. Thank you. In the woodlands, far from civilization, you are ambushed by a band of elfish warriors. For what purpose do you dare to trespass within our kingdom? One demands as a dozen arrows point at you from all directions. You warn the elf of the advancing northerner army and suggest they flee to safety. <laughs> Human, the elf warrior says with a smirk. We already know of your rampaging kin and there is no safer ground than our own home. Have no fear. The men you call northerners have better no better than to enter our forest. To do so will be their doom, the elf remarks mother of Fackley. If you have no other business, then it is time for you to leave. Help oh. Here we see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. No, 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 continue. The elf only looks conflicted, saying, We don't wish to involve ourselves in your war, but your intention do seem noble. We will not attack the humans, but we may use our influence to lay them. I shall speak of this to our queen. Queen, do not seek to find us again. Thank you. Okay, what's over here? 
As they approach, a large band of soldiers exits the fort and heads in your direction. Surprising however that pay no attention other than to shove you out of the way to supply way again. I will... Yeah, I will. Thank you. The entire fort is deserted, but you manage to scrounge some supplies. Thank well you. Done. Didn't expect that. Return. Because we haven't seen. Okay, we haven't seen any villagers here. Okay, now I will roll them all, but I'll. I wanted to shoot them the other way. There was no village, right? There should still be eight. Okay, I have a bad feeling that this is gonna be good. Peaceful village. Okay. A few farmers look at you with curiosity as you enter their small village. You address a gathering of local peasants as they mill around the village well. To leave the crop seems like madness, but you try to convince them to flee the area. Oh my goodness. The people disperse to gather what they can before abandoning the village. Okay, we'll have to hurry over there. Okay, there's another village. The festival. Yep. As the farmer turns to each other in Banning, a huge brownie man walks up to you. I am Samuel and I run this town. We haven't seen any northerners around these parts for months. I say you are a liar and we're not about to abandon our homes on your say so. If you have no intention of ordering a drink, then you should leave. Okay. Samuel joins you at the bar and taking note of your drink orders one for himself. Sip for sip, he makes sure to keep pace with your drinking. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is fine. Samuel watches you finish her. a cup of Demon's Bane that finishes form. Okay, we'll take another drink. Mm, okay, I'll reroll. No, I will reroll that. This is gonna fail as well? No. Samuel watches you finish bottle of Berserker beer. Okay. How many? How much do I need to drink? I wanted to stop the wheel before it gets too fast. <laughs> okay. I don't like where this is going. You train a mug. See what you do with that, given hmm. your position. You train a mug of Lionel, Slacky Libation, and Samuel does the same, slamming his empty mug down on the bench. After pausing a moment to belch, he passes out, slamming his head down next to the empty mug. While Samuel slumbers, he organizes the farmers to gather whatever, whatever they can carry and evacuate the village. Thank you! Yeah, we really need to hurry over there. Another village, okay. It's the elder, which means this is oh, the dice. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Cool. But we still have five villages to save. The woodcutter greets you with a warm smile. Hello! There don't see many people near these woods. Are you injured? You did, didn't try and go in there, did you? He turns and gestures the woods behind him, and wittingly swinging a pile of harvested lumber that the other head. I don't wanna get. I will get hurt. Yep. The log knocks you clumsily to the ground. No! Okay, what about the forest? 
The woods of the Marty Farnum are a strange thing. Some people say they sprang up overnight, causing a farmer to lose his whole herd. It's Hogwarts, of course, but people don't go in there. Then the wood you carry? Fawn removes the log from his shoulder and shows it to you, running his enormous hand across the grain. You see, the lumber here is in high demand. I am told it makes the strongest, straightest spears and arrows, while craftsmen want it for cars, stables and more. All I know is that people pay a pretty penny for what I bring back. Okay, how do you have a danger? Ah, Tonwe walks a large finger at you. You've already seen the danger in the woods, haven't you? You seem like a kindly sword, so I shall share with you my secret. A mysterious trader gifted it to me when I offered a favorable rate on some furs. She thought it a worthless trinket, but she never had visited these woods. I worked for years before I came here. While others are troubled by shadow beasts and plagues, I am not. I'm... okay... Would you pardon me? I'm pilled well for this wood I collect and I appear to be the only one who can harvest it. You would have to make me a very rich man if I were to give it up. Oh, ooh, 100. Let's haggle. Can I get it down to 10? Nah. Okay, this is strangely low. I'm really suspicious. Yeah, it's 13 now. I need to reroll uh, everything, basically. It's gotten worse. Phone grows tires of haggling. My prize is my prize. There are no rings like this to be found in all the land. Ah, no, thank you. So if troubles, my friend, don't say as uh, he returns to the forest. Well, hell. <laughs> we need to go back. Everything is oh, no. easier with a map that you can trust. Of course, that's the core of the question, isn't it? Mary creases a back one of two camels resting under a grove of palms. A dry heat blows from the west. Climb aboard and lead the way, he says, to see you the map. Sorry for taking it before, but you really can't be too trusting of people these days. Thank you. You take a moment to consult the map you discovered while raiding caravans. It traces the merchant roads that crisscross the desert lands, skirting the nation. The desert hide many forgotten paths, but only one, but only the most prepared or most desperate risk trying to find them. Well, we are fucked. No, we can run away, I think. Attempt to avoid. And we are fucked. Can we camp? Uh, wait, oh. well, oh, wow. Well. Oh, well. Okay, I'll fight them. We have more clips. Alright. And we still need five villagers. Oh, and I still have the basic weapon, of course. Oop. Where is she? Oh, there is she. No, you don't. Nope. No, don't just stand like this. Are you dead? No, she's not dead yet. She's not dead yet. No, she left. Oh, I can get this one. Yep. Come on, come on. 
I miss the race when it was just to wiggle. Left joystick to get rid of those traps. Thank you. No. No. Unfortunately, no resources. It was the Chortus Wall, a ramshackle line of old stones marking the old northern border of the Empire in times gone by. There are a few defensible structures between here and the walls of the capital. You travel alone into the night and set up again with the dawn. Hmm. Of course, oh, of course, there's a village. Warn them. But you won't be able to refuse to abandon. There's an empire fort not far from here. They'll protect us. No, they won't. Again. Yep, yep. Why won't you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we need to go to the left one first. Actually, I wanted to sell something. No. Do what you can to find more food. <sighs> uh -huh. Stop introducing gnomes to me. the lot of them. Okay, and the last one. Yeah, they can jump on you when you are making the execution. Now we don't... <laughs> I don't have any... Well, actually, I can give you something. Give you this. Yep. Something useful. I hate you guys. Wait, isn't this the last... Okay, inspect the fort, please. I hate you. Okay, I'll reroll those two. I need eight. Thank you. Some food, perhaps? Thank you. Oh, okay, there's the village. I'm uh, cashing around this village for the drink. No, this is fine. <laughs> How many times do we need to drink? Three or four? He didn't let me. Okay, no, this is fine. Yeah, we draw. Yes. It kind of slid. Oh dear. <laughs> Move faster next time. Hmm. Oh, yeah, just as you are wondering what to do with your prize, one of the farmers offers to slaughter the beasts and cook them. 
or half the food they would provide. Okay, spend some time talking to locals about the impending invasion while the farmers prepare your food. Okay, I'll I will help them. Yep. Even though there's lots of them, and I'm all. I forgot. I'm alone. Oh well. Good luck. Okay. I need to kill her. I need to kill her. There she is. I cannot care about anyone else as long as she's alive. Of course she's over there. No you don't. Thank you. Tried. I, I tried to do just that. Okay, this isn't going too bad. Okay, it could have been a lot better if I didn't. Red. Damage. So much, and I keep on doing that. Okay. Save this village. I think I'm pairing too fast. Would you die? Thank you. Nope. No, got it. We are alive, we are well, and we will save this village. Will we? Yeah, we will. Ooh. Well, it's for and allies again. Wait, we can go. Okay. Okay, that's nice. In the woodlands far from civilization, you are ambushed by a band of elfish warriors. Wait, we've already... <sighs> Help. I'm not a vain man. Oh, but you are. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. <laughs> the capital, okay, but we need to go. Farmers know better mm. than any other yeah, than made food. The Bless your soul. <laughs> this is more than I could have ever expected from a stranger. I will spread word of this deed and come to harvest. I will pay this gesture as best I can. Give me the chart. Thank you. 
นะอู้ this is gonna be hard continue don't need anything an unpaid debt is an invitation to trouble อืมอืมโอเค give it up ดู no I don't want to do think way I don't care okay Wanted to avoid them. What the hell, controller? What the hell? Why wouldn't you listen? No. Okay. okay, they can't kill each other, so there's that. No, I missed. I missed again. Their helmets fell off when they died. It's pretty nice accent. Okay, attempt to avoid them. Attempt to avoid them. <laughs> no, god damn it! I don't know why. It just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's another village. Warn them. Now it's you guys. The Empire won't protect you. I have to do that. And they will. Unfortunately for me. There's still two there should be two more villages on this map. Where the hell are they? I hope this works. Oh, that's very nice cave. Oh, that was fast. No, that's the kill. Yeah. Of course.
no, 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 Kill her. Oh, just kill her. Thank you. Finally. Need to get the food. this Oof. now I would like some help <laughs> oh. nope okay that's in the village God will show us the way okay Back to the bones. I hope you have learned have a... to be their master. Oh, we don't. Have... I just screwed it up because I forgot we don't have the gambler's jewel anymore. Oh, hello, Eva. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, the village. <gasps> It's unavailable? Wait, what? Yeah, what? Okay. Was it? Okay, was it me or is it... It showed me the wrong way. There is a reason this cart travels the long way oh, around. Cross it. I would rather not trust my life to such pathways. Uh, let's attempt that way then. Who remains for you to pass it? Trust in? There are no allies for you okay. or I in this world. Wait, we failed to warn them, but somehow it was safe. Thank you. Chaos turns you see the high walls of the capital in the distance. You reach the walls of the capital ahead of the northern invaders, only to find a mass of people stranded outside the city. After spending hours pushing through the gates, you make yourself known to the guards. Eventually, Captain Alpus arrives with a company of soldiers to escort you into the city. You are taken up onto the battlements, where General Trinico stands overlooking the mass of refugees at the base of the wall and streaming from the forest behind them the northern horde. Ah, at last we have the troublemakers in custody, the general commands as you approach. Well, mercenaries, despite your efforts to clear out the northern villages, as you can see the barbarians still took the bait. Distant horns capture your attention and in the distance a long, long line of troops carrying imperial banners begin to move into positions on their far side of the northerners. And now we've got them trapped. The general cheers, raising his fist. We will smash them between our army and the city walls. He excitedly hurries away, rapidly barking orders to his men. Man, the catapults! Ready the archers! 
Captain Alpha signals his men to take you away. The general will decide what to do with you after we annihilate the barbarians. Really? As if the northerners weren't enough. There's so much to fight. This challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The empire is filled with those who will follow any order without question. Alpus would arrest his own mother if a general told him to. I told you, none of this would end well. Yeah. 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 Oh, goddamn. Yeah. 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 Okay. Where are you going? Exactly. I think you broke. He's not doing anything. Oh, I'm this great of a fighter. Come on. Oh, I really hope you could be in. Oh, fuck. Can I get up? Where's Mal? Oh, that is. Thank you. Oh, no! I have no idea what happened there. Okay, wrong way. Where is he? Oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. Thank you. You find yourself momentarily free from imperial attention as the battle with the Northerners escalates, so you and Malclipes discreetly slink down to the street and lose yourself among the crowds. The clash with the Northerners continues for a day and a night, but finally the city gates are opened and Dawn's lights reveal the barbarian horde to be no more. Thank you. They will laud you as a great defender if they mention you at all. The mm. histories of ones like us are often obscured. For saving every village. Saint Talos Day. Oh, right, and this. For exploring the ab abandoned fort. Okay, so that was the hangman. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!